Well, today I'm going to take you guys on a little a tour of my utility trailer. It's it's a six by ten, six foot tall. So originally, this was going to be just for a handyman trailer. Uh, I quit my my job recently, about a month ago, and I, my my original plan was to do handyman work. So this trailer was going to be designed to do basically appliance repair and HVAC repair. But it turns out that a company that I used to work for they 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 gave me work. Uh, doing turns which means painting apartments and doing the maintenance work on apartments but not hourly now it's all contract work so this is the trailer that I have this is the setup that I have originally I wanted a van I did not buy a van I bought this trailer and I think it's it's better for what I'm doing so the setup is really more for apartment uh, maintenance and turns that's how it ended up being so let's look at the trailer first of all I pull it with this Tacoma V6. It is a V nose trailer, which gives me a little bit of extra space. It's pretty cool. It does have a side door and the ramp. I didn't know much about trailers, but apparently the better trailers are 16 inch apart. The the frame. This one's you know pretty sturdy, pretty good. It doesn't have a ramp. First thing is I do carry a trash can and a dolly with me at all times. Just to, you know, get rid of trash and stuff like that, and it's good to have a dolly. Now here in the back, um, well, first of all, these these racks that I have, I bought at Home Depot. This one, I think this is a five foot, was like 150, and the I believe it's a this one's a seven foot, and this one was 250, which is a pretty good deal because they're pretty sturdy. I did attach it to the to the frame. Oh, the, these do come with uh, a, like a metal mesh and I, I put plywood on them and I put plywood on the sides and stuff like that. So we'll start from the back. So here I have a tape measure. Always got to have tape measures and I just did a little setup where I could just hang a tape measure, uh, extension cords. I got this ladder at uh, Harbor Freight. I like these ladders. These, these are good ladders because they don't take up a lot of space, and and it's it's. I think it's a 14 foot ladder. I do have a 20 footer with me here in the trailer. This trailer does come with a skylight, and I'll tell you guys when I bought it, it, it was broken. I was gonna eliminate it, and I'll tell you guys why I left it and why it's a good idea to keep, have one. Now here, this down here has my sheetrock repair stuff. This has paint brushes and rollers. And on this top one, I have uh, mostly DeWalt and Milwaukee uh, M12 batteries because that's the two two things that I use the most. Now here in the back, it starts with painting supplies. Up here, I do have um, chargers and stuff like that. I do YouTube videos, so I do have a batteries and uh, somewhere back there, there's a uh, DJI Osmo action camera, so I carry that kind of stuff. Anyways, here this is all paint supplies. This is this this is gonna be for HVAC. That's not my license plate. This is a old owner who had it. I do have that plate there. So this is gonna be HVAC supplies, the tanks, the recovery tank, the recovery and recovery tanks and all that. I, I haven't charged uh, loaded that on the truck on the trailer because it's still winter and I'm not dealing with heat pumps where I work at right now, so. I haven't charged it, uh, loaded any of that. Um, that's all. Paint supplies, toolbox. Back there I have tarps. And like I said, I'm doing a lot of uh, apartment maintenance, so you'll find a lot of things here for apartment maintenance. I was trying to get away from that, but I ended up staying doing this as contract work. Now this is what I call like a charging station. So I have these solar chargers here. This is, I'm charging, this is already charged. This is a, um, uh, it's a scope, a camera scope. The, the other parts of the bag, I'm charging, you know, flashlights all the time. So these, these flash, flashlights get charged. So microphones, DJI microphones are charged. Up here is more uh, M12 stuff. Now, with this, with this thing, that solder, that's, that's why I kept the, the uh, skylight. 
I have lights. Just this this little battery here will will turn on this light, which is a good trailer light. I don't know how long it will last with that little battery. But if I had a, you know, I can use a, these kind of batteries too with this adapter. So I do have a light in here that I can, you know, turn on and off without without being plugged into anything. Just just because it's got the solar uh, these solar batteries here where I'm charging. Now this is all. It's it's all kind of mixed. I, I try to keep my paint supplies in one area with sheetrock and paint, but it does get mixed around because of course I have rollers over here too, rollers and in the boxes, the paints down there, toolbox. Um, so I showed you guys my chargers. I do have um for a covering plastic or or paper. I do keep this saw here. I'm gonna open this door so we can get a bit of light. Uh, the way I got this designed, it's if you're trying to pull it sideways, it won't come off, so you have to pull it straight up because there's a bolt that it'll only come out if it comes straight up. I'll put it back later because I have my hands full. Pencils, markers, pens. Uh, I bought this recently. This this DeWalt. I I do like the the. Uh, the Ryobi one, they're good and they're they're half the price and then they do the same job. But the only reason I had to buy another, I bought a DeWalt is because I don't want to have more batteries, the Ryobi batteries, even though that's a good tool. Uh, I already have plenty of these batteries, so I just I just stayed with with the uh, DeWalt, even though I had to pay double. I did a little workbench here, which obviously I haven't used. You can see, no use yet. I got random stuff here, my gauges. I have three sets of gauges in this truck and this trailer right now and I have more at home but I'm not even using them so this is my plumbing area so you'll see here is I've got a snake I had to buy this snake recently Harbor Freight also not a bad deal but it's always good to have because you know they'll call me a lot for for backed up sewer lines stuff like that so that's a good snake this is a plunger and a little a sink snake now the ladder, the 20 foot ladder that I have, this is where I, it just hooks on, the feet hook on to this piece of plywood that I put here. I don't want to damage the, the roof on this thing at all. So I just hook it on there. Then back here, I have put some hooks on both sides. And then I just tighten it with this, with this thing here. And that's pretty tight. I, I, I fit in here pretty good because I'm short, so. It is a six foot trailer. Back here, I, it's lower, so I don't. I gotta duck down a little bit. But back there, I, I fit standing up, no problem. Now uh, this is all plumbing. Oh, uh, it's all plumbing gear. I do hang some Dewalt stuff here, cutter, uh, grinder, and oscillating tool back here, and flashlight, screws. I do have a big. Uh, skill saw that I use when I cut a lot of plywood. That's my plumbing bag. This is all uh, plumbing repairs. This is the plumbing area down here. Got plumbing supplies in there. A little bit more plumbing stuff in here. All the plumbing tools, different kind of you know tools that I use for plumbing. And this is my HVAC area. So it's got a lot of fuses and multimeter. Just HVAC. I have a few capacitors with me. Uh, Allen's, zip ties, wire nuts, more wire nuts, and connectors. Uh, this is a paint gun. Here I do have uh, some. I do YouTube videos, of course, so I gotta carry some some tripods with me at all times because I never know when I'm gonna need something. And that's pretty much it this is a uh, the setup that i have i think it works good one more thing is usually i only carry one of these these ladders with me but my wife and daughters help me now uh, my my daughters only help me on on my own personal rentals because I, I do own some <clears throat> so when we're when we're painting them they help me so but my wife helps me a lot now so i had to buy another one of these so a lot of tools i have double and triple because my wife is helping me um, she doesn't have a job. She only helps me once in a while, weekends. 
After work, she likes painting. I have a toolbox down there where I have my regular tools. A fan. And that's pretty much it. That's uh that's my setup. I like I like these uh VersaStack. They're pretty cool. They're uh I think they're I forget the brand. Craftman. And they were good because when I get off, go do a turn. I just got to take that with me, that whole thing. It's got wheels on it. I pretty much have what I need in there for sheetrock repair and painting and all that. I do carry, I do have this little thing, uh, just touch-ups. That's handy. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I, I did put a slot here. And these are tools that I need to have handy at all times, and whatever, whenever I need a uh, tool like cutting something. Or, you know, stuff like that. I hung this with a little bit of that stuff. This is how I have a hammer hanging. Gloves. Oh, I forgot back here. I left an area where I could put four foot levels and poles and extensions, stuff like that. And that's only, that's behind. So when the, when this this door is closed, the ramp, none of that can come out. I think that's it. This was one hundred and fifty dollars for this for this rack, and this one was two fifty. And I think they're a good deal because they're heavy duty. Oh, one more thing, I forgot to show you guys my where I keep my veto packs. And this these are where I you know where I have the tools that I use for repairs. This is my my repair bag. It's hanging from that hook, but at the same time, I did put a little base on it, so it, it doesn't have all the stress on the on the hook. And I, you know, I have my regular repair tools in here. This Vito bag carries uh, specialty tools, carbon monoxide detector, and you know, more specialty tools. I can uh, adjust gas valves and stuff like that with tools that I have in there. And I think that's pretty much it. That's what I what I carry in this in this trailer see you guys in the next video